This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project, SCP-216, Object Classes Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-216 currently resides in Laboratory 5. Access requires Level 2 clearance. Insertion of recording devices into SCP-216 is prohibited without O5 approval. Description SCP-216 is a 35.6 cm high iron safe with a multiple dial combination lock. The lock has seven dials each with numbers ranging from 0 to 9. The combination cannot be changed while the door is open. The weight of the device appears to fluctuate in an obtuse manner. See document 88B. The door of SCP-216 can always be opened, but the accessible interior space appears to change depending on the currently entered combination. Objects placed inside SCP-216 may be accessed by re-entering the combination that was configured when the object was inserted. Objects retrieved from SCP-216 appear to be undamaged by the device. It is speculated that every possible lock combination results in a different interior and that there are approximately 4 million available compartments. It is unknown how many objects currently reside inside SCP-216. An engraving found on the bottom of the safe reads 3 slash 4. It has been hypothesized that the compartments of SCP-216 are shared with three other devices of a similar nature. This hypothesis is consistent with the findings reported in Document 88B. Document 88A, Initial Test Log, Combination Lock Set to 6692724, and Door Opened. Compartment appears empty, one notebook and pencil placed inside, and door closed. Combination Lock Set to 6692725, and Door Opened. Compartment appears empty. Combination lock reset to 6692724 and door opened. Notebook and pencil retrieved from compartment. Note, SCP-216 appears to be a very efficient storage solution. Document 88B, Test Log. Testing the effect of inserted items on the SCP's total mass. Total mass of unit before inserting item, 935.877 kilograms. Notebook and pencil, Total mass 350 grams inserted into SCP-216 and door closed. Total mass of unit after inserting item 935.965. Expected mass 936.227 kilograms. Actual mass 935.965 kilograms. Difference 262 grams. Testing shows that SCP-216 takes on approximately 25% of the mass of its contents suggesting the mass is distributed evenly between SCP-216 and the three other hypothesized devices. Document 122A, Test Log, Compartments 0 through 206 checked for contents. Compartment 0 found to contain traces of sawdust. Compartments 1 through 206 found to be empty. Further testing arranged. Document 152D, Test Log, Compartments 332, through 398, each compartment had a body part from Redacted, a 28-year-old female who had been reported missing. Contents removed for identification and then incinerated. Liver, spleen, and lungs not recovered. Document 159B, Test Log. Compartment 409, a live wolverine, Gulo Gulo, adult male, with a mass of 30 kilograms. Upon the door being opened, it attacked and killed the doctor and mutilated two nearby D-class personnel before being shot five times by guards. Autopsy of the Wolverine revealed no anomalies. Subsequent examination of compartment 409 has revealed it now contains only loose Wolverine hair with residual traces of Wolverine urine and Wolverine anal musk. Document 160A, Test Log, Compartment 456, a fully loaded Glock 19 handgun with a round in the chamber and one regular flavor Klondike bar ice cream dessert. The ice cream bar was not melted, cold to the touch, and remained so as long as it was in the compartment. It was removed for inspection and began to melt within two minutes. It was placed back in the compartment, the door closed for three hours and then reopened. The ice cream bar was in the same slightly melted state as when it was placed back three hours prior. The ice cream bar was removed, placed in a freezer in the nearby second floor cafeteria for one hour. After one hour, it was placed back in the compartment with a handgun and the door closed. Document 161A, Test Log, Chamber 501, confirmed to be empty, had one standard Foundation GPS unit placed inside it. 
When the chamber was sealed, GPS failed. Data from the unit upon retrieval showed that the satellite was unable to confirm source location during this time. Document 174B, Dr. King Test Log. Chamber 616-2384, 51 apple seeds. Chamber 184-6563, 22 apple seeds. Chamber 296-0104, 9 apple seeds. Chamber 858-5821, 78 apple seeds. Chamber 11-11-111, one heavily decomposed apple. Document 152E, test log. All previously checked compartments were opened with the intention of confirming contents. When compartments 332 to 398 were opened, individual body parts were found corresponding to an unknown male, arranged in the same order as found in experiment 152D, including the liver, spleen, and lungs. All previous traces of tissue from experiment 152D, which had not been cleaned, were found to have been sterilized from these compartments. Pursuant to request for O5 directive, body parts were placed back into their compartments. Containment procedures currently under review. Document 162A, Test Log. Testing performed by Dr. Redacted. One digital video camera recorder was set to record and placed in compartment 5,500,000, oriented so as to face outwards towards the door. The door was closed and compartment 5,500,001 was opened. Compartment 5,500,001 was found to be empty. The door was closed. Compartment 5,500,000 was opened again, and the video camera recorder was retrieved. Upon viewing the recorded footage, the doctor suffered from a transient ischemic attack. The recorded footage shows the doctor placing the video camera inside the safe and closing the door. No time passes before the door is reopened and the video camera is retrieved from the safe. This is inconsistent with the scene reported by the doctor. No audible sound is present on the recorded footage. A subsequent analysis of the video camera revealed that several internal components of the camera had been fractured. Document 162D. Test Log. One tape recorder was placed inside compartment 5,500,000 and the door was closed. Several other compartments were opened and closed before returning to compartment 5,500,000 and retrieving the tape recorder. The file has been reported to cause disorientation, nausea, sweating, a sense of overwhelming despair, abdominal pains, panic attacks, migraines, and strokes. The file should only be listened to in a secure environment. Do not drive or operate heavy machinery for up to 24 hours after listening to this file. Refrain from making quick eye movements while listening to this file.